Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, we're going to break down the basics of the bolt. We're going to do a multi-part series where we're going to talk about some of the specific fundamentals to what it takes to make a good bolted joint assembly. So let's start with, with, with the basics here. All right, we got a bolt here, and this is really a clamp. And what we're trying to do when we tighten this bolt is stretch it like a spring. And its clamping force is what squeezes parts together and keeps bolts together through their service life. Now this particular bolt is designed to clamp with 40,000 pounds of force. Now I'm not strong enough to stretch this and show you how this elongates and stretches like a spring. So I've got this right here. So this is my little device to demonstrate the fundamentals of the bolted joint where we can handle some loads in newtons of force and it's something that we can, we can handle with our hands and really show you from this size perspective what it takes and what's important to consider when we're tightening a bolt. All right, let's get into it. So the first experiment here is talking about why it's important to actually tighten the bolt, why that clamping force is important to the assembly. So if we build up this joint here, we put this together, and let's actually not tighten the bolt. Let's just run the nut down until the parts are squeezed together. So we have basically zero on this scale. If we apply a service load to this joint, we see that the service load increases the force on the scale up to about two. And if this is a cyclical load, if this is coming on and off, you're going to have the bolt load is going to be doing this. It's going to be going up and down and up and down. This will cause a fatigue fracture in the bolt or cause the nut to work its way off. This will be problematic for the assembly and will fail if it goes out into the field like this. So it's really critical that we tighten the nut to the right level. So we can tighten it above two. And now when we put the service load on here, now we have a situation where the load in the joint remains stable. The, the, the load, the actual preload of the fastener, the tension force, does, isn't directly affected by the service load and it stays quite stable. This results in a joint that will stay tight for its full service life, okay? Now what happens when we overload this joint? Let's say we have a situation where, you know, maybe our product when it gets out into the market gets abused and we double the service load. If we've only tightened to two newtons of force, now we have this situation again where we're seeing force directly affect the load in the bolt. So the service load goes up and down and the load in the bolt goes up and down. So it's really important to tighten to a value that's greater than the joint will ever see when it gets out and, and is being used. So we take it to four and now we see that now we have a stable condition. I can take this on and off of here thousands of times and the bolt load remains stable. This bolt will stay tight and perform as intended. So that was the first experiment with the Benford bolt. We got a few new things planned. So in this series, we're gonna talk about friction, relaxation, and vibration, and some other fun things we're gonna show you. So we'll see you next time. <laughs>